Hello and welcome back to another video. I've driven up to Borrowdale, which is in the heart of the Lake District. And today I'm heading up to Great Gable. It is an absolute stunner of a day. Blue skies, the sun is shining. It's not supposed to last all day. The cloud is going to roll in throughout the day, but I've come here super early to catch as much sunshine and clear skies as we possibly can. And like I was saying, I've driven to Borrowdale, which is in the middle of nowhere in the Lake District, really. It takes a long time to get here. It's been a three hour drive this morning up from the Peak District, but completely worth it because this area is just unbelievably beautiful. And it is also freezing cold this morning. The dash, it said minus five when I left the car and it went down to minus seven on the drive up here. So it is a very fresh day. Everything is frozen. There's quite a few waterfalls coming down uh, off the fells here and you can see that they are all frozen, which is really cool. Just when you think winter is over and spring should be kicking in, we've had this super cold spell. I've got a couple of friends up in the Cairngorms at the moment and it was minus 15 last night there. So yeah, it's very cold. It's not supposed to last. And we've got a total of four Wainwrights to bag today. And the first Wainwright of the day is called Seathwaite Fell. And then from Seathwaite, we head up to Great Gable, which is the highest peak of the day. And then from Great Gable, we drop down to Green Gable. And then from there, we go to our last Wainwright of the day, which is called Base Brown. So yeah, four Wainwrights to bag. And the route in total is around eight miles. So it's not a massive route by any means but there is quite a lot of elevation it's not going to be a monster day out in the fells but i'm just going to take my time and enjoy this beautiful weather because it really is stunning so yeah it's going to be another awesome day out in the lake district four more wainwrights to bag
So we've just made it up to Seathwaite Fell, Wayne Wright number one of the day. And the views from up here are just absolutely ridiculous. So down there is Borrowdale where we parked this morning. Over there, which is where I'm heading to now, is Great Gable. You've got a snow-capped Great End and Scarfell Pike in front of us here. And then over there is Bowfell. I've just sat there for about half an hour having some food, taking some photos with my camera. Yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful barely any wind either so a superb start to the day the climb up to seathwaite extremely steep short but steep we're now heading over to the mighty great gable and it does look like we've got a bit of a climb to do because i think we're going to drop down into this valley that's in front of us so yeah we'll head down here now and then all the way up this ridge to the top of great gable So we've made it to the top of Great Gable and what a view you get from up here. And you can see why so many people regard this fell as the heart of the Lake District. That's the Western Fells over there. You've got Wasswater and Wasdale Head just down there, which is a really popular spot uh, to head up to Scarfell Pike, which you can see just over here, which just looks unbelievable today with all the snow on it really does look so beautiful and then here you've got great end bow fellow right over in the distance let's head into the wind 
and then that's where we were earlier that was our first rain right of the day you can see late windermere way over in the distance i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that and then you've got pike stickle paviark all around there the langdales and then you've got the eastern fells over here you've got hellvel in there and then you can see all the way over to the northern fells so you've got blencathra skiddor that's the second wing right of the route and that might actually be my favorite wing right so far just because of how stunning the views are from there and i've just come behind this little ken because i can't feel my face <laughs> it is absolutely freezing up here so i'm gonna head off here now our next wing right is green gable which is literally a five minute walk from great gable <laughs> and then we go over to our final wing right of the day which is a little out and back and then we drop back down to seathwaite made it back to Seathwaite, absolutely knackered. Great Gable has to go in the top five Wainwright so far. Uh, it was just stunning up there. The views, the weather, looking over to Scarfell Pike and just the 360 degree view was just epic. Awesome day. I've had such a blast, honestly. If you've got any questions about the route or anything, or just any questions about the Lake District or the area or just anything, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the likes, subscribes I've been getting over the past few months. It has been, yeah, I really do appreciate it so, so much. It means the world to me. And I'll end the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.